Let's find out if the kit Retro Entertainment Knight Rider car is any good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Hot Wheels Unleashed car review. This time we're checking out how good kit Knight Rider car is. Now obviously I'm hoping it does have the sound effects like it does in the series on TV. I think it should because I know another car from... Oh my god! The ones on TV in this game make some noises similar to it like the DeLorean. So hopefully this does as well. It's just cool how they add the, those kind of things in. It just adds a bit of character and personality to the car. But when we're using this car, it feels pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. So definitely a usable car. Oh my god. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, this is a battle with Power Rocket and the Koenigsegg Jesko. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Oh, the Koenigsegg just hit a pole. Oh, the spider's out. <laughs> it's the Cheetah and the Power Rocket here. Now, I'm not gonna lie. The Power Rocket is giving us a run for our money here. This is the most challenging one I've had to do. I don't even think the car's bad. It's just, I think the Power Rocket is just being a bit too good for us here. But the car does feel very nice. It's not too light, not too heavy. Speed is nice. It's got a boost bar, which is not too bad. I now like it. Find out how to use it properly. Been trying it because a lot of cars do have the boost bar and it's not that bad. Speed is good as well. The boost is not too strong, not too weak. We can actually gain positions in this car, keep a top three position, potentially win as well. It just depends because the Power Rocket is just playing out of his mind right now. But that's not too bad. It's not too bad. Come on. Now, if you guys like the Knight Rider car, if you like Kit, leave a like on the video. Show your support for David Hasselhoff. Come on. Let's hit this nice. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice car. We know it's a nice car. There we have it. The kit car is actually pretty good. It has four speed, four braking power, two acceleration, five handling, and the boost bar. And obviously you can upgrade it to legendary. You'll get three boost blips, which is actually pretty good. That'll be very helpful in races. And obviously it'll have five speed, braking power, and four acceleration, same handling, and just the boost blips. But it's a very good car. I like the car. It looks so cool as well. It's just so stealthy. Does the front have the little red thing? Yeah, it does. Just there above it, you can see. I wonder if that lights up when you're racing like when the car speaks in the TV series. That'd be pretty cool, but hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.